glad you're here. If you're joining in live, thank you, thank you, thank you for jumping on with me right now. It is Thursday. I always forget what day it is. Being stuck at home, but man, this is Let's Get Quirky live. And I'm so glad you're joining in today on this episode. And man, the reason we're doing this is because I have a life motto, and it is I'm always one person away from changing the course of my future. And that means I need to meet as many people as possible to build friendships, relationships, business, team, everything, and seeing when I cross those paths, I think, okay, is there something about this relationship that could change the course of my future and alter things for the both of us for the better? And now that we're all stuck at home, it's not happening, right? Like, I'm not going to meet with people. And it's literally been the foundation of all these different things in my past leading up to starting this business, Quirk Advertising, and the team that we have now but now we're not meeting with people and it's been really, really interesting times. So we're just like, you know what? We're gonna start a live stream and we're gonna just do that to try to connect, try to connect with you guys. And I am doing like a one man band show right now. So I see Katie, what's up Katie, Heather, Shelly. Thanks for jumping on. Um, if you have any questions or comments during this, please drop them in. I will get to them. Um, I'm a one band show right now. So one man band show right now. So. If you leave something, I don't get it. I'm also a minute ahead of you. So I've noticed every time we do this, like a minute, 10 seconds delay. So I'm in the future. Future's looking good. And uh, you'll catch this in a minute. Anyways, so yeah, I'm not able to meet with them. So we're like, you know what? Let's do a live stream to connect with people while we're all stuck at home. And uh, we're doing this stay home. Hashtag Rona20. So while we're here, we're going to use the best of our abilities to get stuff to you, good content, and we've been interviewing people as well. So this is episode 11, and we've already had some great interviews with great friends of mine that are running other businesses, people on our team that have jumped on and shared their expertise, but also just value in what we're doing during these times, but trying to also equip you with things to do with marketing or give you tools while we're stuck at home they might be able to work on right now while we're figuring this thing out, because we're really in no different boat than you are. We're trying to figure this out too, trying to connect with businesses and people while we're at home on Zoom calls, trying to still build business and our team, keep them running. But we have been remote for a while. Our whole team is designed about around being remote. So it wasn't like a massive, oh no, like how do we work from home? It's more of like, how do we connect with our people now that we're all at home? So that's why we're doing this. And man, it's been so much fun having people on here. But today it's just me. You got me today. It's gonna be great. Don't worry. Um, you read the title, the fastest easiest way to make money, business from home, and you're like, yeah, right. Tell me. I know everyone says the fastest easiest way. It's just intention grabber to bring you in. That's all it is. Most of you I know are gonna watch this later. So prepare yourself. It's gonna be good. Um, it's good content. This is a great way to make money, um, and it's a very easy way to do it. And we're gonna give you the tools to do it. Um, without having to pay us to do it for you. It's not like a gimmick. We're not trying to pull you in like, oh, you have to pay us. But hey, we know how to do this stuff we're about to present and excited to share it with you. And if you need help, I know you'll reach out, uh, but we're excited to share it. So today, episode 11, we're going to jump right in. And uh, before I do that, I just want to remind you, we do have this live stream happening every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. right now while Rona's going on, Corona Rona. Um, when that's going on every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. So you can jump on with us. Um, and then once it gets back to kind of normal, then we'll uh, probably do it once a week, keep this thing going, because we've really enjoyed just getting content out there and seeing what, who connects with it. And uh, I've already created some, some relationships. We're already having some Zoom meetings off of this. So I'm really excited. I'm getting to meet with more people. And I appreciate you guys um, sharing this content. So today I'm gonna talk a little bit about, before we get to the big you know, punch, piece here, I want to talk about branding versus marketing. And really, I think the perfect example of this, which is used a lot, but I think it's just, it's the perfect example. So I use a lot. It's Coca-Cola. Okay. Imagine Coca-Cola, they have a brand and why do they have a brand? And I always say branding is what people say about you. It's who, it's who people say you are. It's not what you say about yourself. It's not you trying to get out and get in front of people as much as it is, as creating an emotion and you really get to focus in on some things that Coca-Cola's done really well. Now, you watch the Super Bowl, and there's a commercial that comes on, and it's Coca-Cola, and it tugs on your heart or makes you smile, and all they do is throw a Coke in there in the middle, and they've spent millions of dollars to put that commercial 
just in the Super Bowl. Well, if you were to try to do that, it'd be such a waste of your own money because no one knows who you are. You haven't built a brand, right? Brand is takes so much more effort to get to and takes a lot of time until people have established and know who you are. And marketing really is the efforts it takes to get there. Once you really work on marketing and what you're doing, you gotta get your business out in front of people. You gotta find ways to show people you can solve their problem. And you gotta bring people along a journey to know that you're trustworthy. And you gotta put yourself out there and it takes a lot of hard work and all your different efforts to, to market, right? But once you get there to a place where you're bringing in all sorts of money, then you can start putting more efforts towards your brand. Now I know a lot of people because they come to us in our marketing world and they're super stoked about their logo and colors and design and they're getting really excited about how to use those pieces for their company and they're focusing a lot on their brand. Now I get it. We want a brand voice as well. Like we want to have fun. Like our we're quirk advertising, quirky, let's do this. Like I like to dance and I like to have fun and our team is together and we play games and I want us to love life while we do work and I want to have a, I'm, I'm quirky, let's be honest. Um, if you've noticed all the shirts that I've worn, um, they're a little different. Anyways, so we're wanting to build a brand ourselves and a name for us, but we can't really do that with money and efforts right now because it would be a lot of it would be wasted because we haven't really spent our time marketing because we're still a small company and we're still not we're not you know we're getting there and we're spending a lot of time and working hard and our team is growing i'm very excited but we got a lot of marketing to do before we can really put a ton of effort into our branding if that makes sense so think about it that way think about coca-cola think about watching their commercials on the super bowl and thinking man that is incredible it'd be incredible to be there one day yes well coca-cola when they started they had to get their coke in front of people they had to be like does it taste good do people like it um are we helping create a different type of um, product that people will go to and enjoy and then work a brand around that over time but when they started they had to market like crazy so think about it that way branding versus marketing so there's all types of marketing and instead of me getting into that today episode four if you go back to episode four of this whole live stream you can actually go to quirk not quirk you can go to quirkadvertising.com and find us but if you go to let's get quirky dot live you can go to all of our episodes on YouTube and find us at Quirk Advertising as well. Just type it in on YouTube. Episode four, we talk about all the types of marketing and how they work together. There's really an actual path that you should go on using the different pieces of marketing and all types of marketing fit in this model that I show you. But there's a path in order that, that you take to get there. So there's all sorts of marketing. There's all sorts of ways to do it. And there's all sorts of people out there telling you how to do it. And a lot of it is effective, a lot of it is not. And a lot of it is to market to get you to use them while you try to figure out your marketing. I get it, we're a marketing advertising agency, that's what we try to do. Um, but there's one today that I'm gonna talk to you about that to me is really the fastest, easiest way to make money, especially while you're at home. And we're gonna give you the tool to do it right at the end of this episode. So I'm gonna explain it, tell you the why it's important, and then I'm gonna give you the tool that we're using and we just came up with this week for you. And it is a sales funnel. Now I know what you're thinking. I don't want to do a sales funnel. It's sleazy. I've heard all about it. I don't want to do that. Well, let me convince you otherwise. I'm going to show you how this sales funnel done a specific way that's way simplified. We're not trying to create all these different automations that track somebody's click and then sends them another email or sees where they are on a page. Like we can do all that stuff as an agency and we figure out different ways that people are using your product on certain pages and social media, we can do all sorts of things and connect them together, figure out who needs what, put the products in front of people. There's all sorts of ways to do that. I'm not talking about doing that. I'm talking about using something just as simple as your message you're trying to get out there, telling really the ultimate piece is telling your client's story through the lens of what you offer and getting them on a journey that's simple, it's short, and it's to the point um, that allows them to jump on a little funnel um, and get them engaged with your product much faster and it works. Uh, over hundreds of thousands of companies are using this exact model. So, okay, well, what is this model? Well, let me show you. Put this up, y'all. Okay, I know you've probably seen a sales funnel chart, right? Some sort of sales funnel, drawing them in. Hey, Gerald, hey, Aaron, good to have you guys on. I'm looking down at Facebook here. Okay, so this sales funnel, it's very basic. As you can see, the very tip there is to get people to a sale. 
uh, down the funnel. And we're gonna start with just four things, that's it. Don't try to think of all the types of marketing pieces where we're literally gonna do four things. It's a one-liner, and we'll explain that. One-liners that get your future clients interested. Then it's a website landing page that intrigued them. Hey Blake, good to have you on, man. Then it's a lead generator to enlighten them. Then it's email campaigns to build that trust that ultimately leads to the sales. So you've got a one-liner to get your future clients interested, website to get them intrigued, lead generators to enlighten them, and then email campaign to build that trust and then ultimately lead to a sale to bring them that commitment without being sleazy. I guarantee you, I'm gonna show you how to do this without being sleazy. Okay, so we've got this entire model from somewhere. We didn't just come up with this ourselves. We've had to rework it because we can't just present you the exact same thing because that would be stealing. I love stealing, but I do it in a way that is right. <laughs> There's a book I like, it's called uh, Steal Like an Artist. Check it out, it's awesome. But this whole resource comes because we have a certified guide on our team from StoryBrand, and there's a model, the book that just came out this past month, and we've been using this model through our guide, but now it's kind of come out in an entire process, and it is the Marketing Made Simple. Marketing Made Simple by Donald Miller. It basically explains, they have their own method in explaining this for the entire um, book, and it breaks it down way even more than I'm gonna break down in this video, but it will show you step-by-step -step process on what to do for this funnel that we're gonna show you. It even has a little more in there because we simplified it even more so. But we're gonna... What's going on? All oh, random giveaways. Oh, yeah, if you haven't noticed, uh, we like to give away things on our live stream. So if you join us live, then we give away things. <laughs> so if you're still with us and you want something for free, guess what? I'm gonna give away that book. So the first person to comment, marketing made simple that's all you got to put marketing made simple in the comments gets the marketing made simple book i'm going to send you an audible so you can listen to it don't worry i'm not going to drive to your house and hand you a book with a mask on like i'll send you electronic version so you can listen to it it's really effective really powerful and probably the best resource that i could tell you about on this episode so first person to comment marketing made simple wins the book all right cool so let's move on I'm going to break down each section now and explain why they're important. And then we'll come back and I'll give you the resource we've created for you guys to help that you can do this all yourself. You can 100% DIY your process in this sales funnel. Okay, so let's break it down. Step number one, one-liner. One-liner, we actually put that mad lib. We have a process we're gonna show you in our deliverable or our, our free giveaway here at the end um, that We've kind of made fun of Mad Lib, like you just have to follow the steps to put it in and it helps you create a one-liner. Now, what is a one-liner? Think about it this way. Elevator pitch. Your elevator pitch when someone asks, what do you do? Now, if I'm engaging with someone and I know that I don't want to do business with them and they, uh, they just don't seem like a good, <laughs> good client for me or I just know specifically we can't actually help them and they ask, what is it you do? I say, well, I own a marketing advertising agency. Okay, great, tells me what I do. It is what I do. And they're not that interested at that point, right? They might out of courtesy or when I ask some more questions just because they're nice, but they're not interested in doing business with me because I haven't piqued their interest. Now a one-liner elevator pitch that you can use that's very powerful is flipping it and putting it in terms that help them identify with something that you solve. And if I'm with someone and I know they're a specific client that we can help, I say, well, you know, they ask me what I do, and literally I start with this. You know, a lot of companies spend a ton of time and money on marketing that never works. They've tried and tried, and they keep throwing money at marketing that never works. So we've created a marketing framework to show how it works, and you can actually make a return on your investment. So we help people through their marketing strategies, and we have a simple framework that people can follow to actually have their marketing work. And at that point, they know I'm a marketing agency, they know that's what we're trying to help them do, and they're intrigued because they have some money or whatever that is. So it's coming up with something, a one-liner. Well, how do you do that? How do you come up with a one-liner? Well, I'm gonna show you that in that document, but episode seven on story um, breaks down. So if you go back to episode seven, we talk about story. It's a foundational piece that's explained. Um, and then episode four, 
when I was playing that whole breakdown of marketing, it's the foundational piece that we talk about. So if you go to episode seven, episode four, you can learn really that story piece where you're formulating a message around what it is you offer and it's telling your client's story through the lens of what you offer versus just telling your story. Because no one cares about what you do until they know it can help solve their problem first. So do that. Watch episode seven, episode four, and it'll help really frame that for you. But your one-liner is the first step. So it can be something being said, you know, through mouth to mouth, word of mouth, or um, mouth to mouth, word, word of mouth, or it's something through an email or a post somewhere that you have it on your business card. Once they have that, then they're, they're intrigued and they're ready to take that next step. So you give them where to go. And that next step is your, where is it? Website. So we want to create a wireframed website. Why do we want to do that? What's up, Bobby Losell? Hey, babe, my wife's on. Um, so why do we want to do that? What, what's, what about the wireframe website? How do we make that effective, and why is that a part of the funnel? Well, let me tell you. Your website's the number one thing people are going to go to if they're wanting to find any information about you, right? So we've got to make sure it's effective. And there's, got to, there's, a, there's a specific methodology, and there's a structure, and there's all sorts of them out there. But there's a simplified structure that's easy for you to do yourself that you can walk them down from header down to footer on ways that you put it in certain words, very simplified, for in certain statements, certain buttons, certain images um, that draw them in down this funnel to wireframe out a website that actually is effective. And that's our goal. We create websites that are effective. And there's a lot of tips and things that you can do out there. Actually, if you go up to episode one, I know I'm pumping all of our episodes. Again, let's get quirky.live. You go there, it'll take us to our YouTube page with all these episodes, you go back to episode one, we start off with the tips, the grunt test for your website, the three simple tips you can do. We even break down a website live on that episode and shows you even more so how to simplify and make your website effective. So you have your one-liner that draw them into a website and that website draws them into what is next and that is your lead generator. I'm like, okay, lead generator, yep. You've probably seen a ton of resources out there, downloads, PDFs, um, maybe it's a membership, maybe it is a uh, video or a series or a course, whatever that is, it's a lead generator that you're trying to create a piece of information that is helpful to your clients. Now think about this. When someone goes to your website, and there's some strong pieces you can do on your website that are calls to actions, all sorts of things that we can break down and explain in more detail which we do in the free resource I'm gonna tell you about here really shortly. When you go through that uh, funnel and you go to the website and they're not ready today to do business with you or date that product, whatever it is, you don't wanna lose that person, right? At that point, they might get off the website because, well, you know, maybe one day, but we're not sure, or maybe no. But the resource that you wanna use um, is a lead generator because that way it's a transitional piece that allows people to get something for free today that they might not have gotten, or a helpful tip, or things to avoid, like use words like that. Um, it's a resource that people will download and you give to them, and guess what? To get it, you gotta give some real estate, you gotta give your email. And I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm giving my email, I'm always getting junk, spam, all sorts of emails from clients all day long. Yes, you're right, you're right, because it's still the most powerful tool to make money, so people are going to use it. It's still the most powerful tool. So. You have that lead generator. Now there's all sorts of ways to build a lead generator and we'll give you ideas and stuff like that on the resource we're gonna tell you about here shortly. But that lead generator gets their email. And once you have their email, then you get into an email sequence. Email sequence. It is the strongest tool you have to making money. And I know some of you are thinking, I don't want to bombard somebody with emails. I get my own. I don't want to frustrate anyone. Well, you're not frustrating anyone because it's their choice, one, to get into it. They know what they're doing. They're not stupid. They've, this is all around. Give me your name and email and you get this resource. Once they start getting emails from you, if they don't want to get emails from you, they can unsubscribe. And that's okay. Their choice. You're not actually bombarding anybody and it's not overwhelming. They can unsubscribe. So think about it that way. Emails is still the number one way to make money. You can add all the social media accounts combined on money and email still wins. Why? Well, what's the number one thing that holds all of your 
social media accounts, in your sh online shopping, in your business communication, all together, your email. You have to have an email. So most people do have an email. And it's the number one source of making money. So building an email sequence, there's really two types of emails to build. And that is a sales funnel and a nurture campaign. That's all you need. Don't have to think of some elaborate way to connect all these different type of emails that go into this other automation and what if I miss them here and they click on this, don't worry about it. Just two email um, campaigns, sales and nurture. I'll explain those and how to break down their specific emails that can go in order that you do for like a blitz, it's like a week and a half of emails. There's six emails that you do, that's it, right? Six emails. They get these emails within a week and a half. They go down this blitz, this funnel, sometimes two weeks depending on your product or how you need to spread it out. And if they're not ready or they unsubscribe, fine. Or they don't do anything, that's okay. We're not gonna bombard them after that. We're just gonna send them six. And then if they're still not ready, we'll put them on a nurture campaign. A little drip, once a week, once every other week, um, sometimes once a month. Um, we recommend once or once every other week that you're putting your name in their inbox. Why? Even if they don't read it, they're seeing your name. And when it comes to needing what you offer, they'll think of you first, it's subconscious. Now, we do want the resource that is in that email to be helpful. We're not selling them anything on the nurture campaign. It is literally helpful tips, things that you can engage with and use or share. Uh, but even if they don't read it, your name's in their inbox. So there's, there's a way to do this with the sales funnel when you take your one-liner to your website to get download the, the resource and then give them emails. It is literally the most powerful tool you can use. And you can do it right now with what you have and you can get tools that are absolutely free to make this completely happen for your website. Now, if you don't know how to edit your own website, I'm sure you can get someone that has, does that, but if you are able, you can make some tweaks, you can get a resource on there, and you can start putting people through that funnel right now. So, what is it? What is the thing I have to give you guys that something we've been working really hard on? It is our DIY sales funnel. Yes, I'm so excited about this, why? Well, because we've realized that it can be done uh, by yourself and you don't need us to do it. And we truly believe if you do need help and you get stuck in this process, and we believe we obviously can make better, more powerful uh, funnels for you, because um, we have experience in messaging, we have experience in websites, we've got plenty of experience in emails, um, creating lead generators, come up with those ideas, uh, we've got a creative team, but we know you can do it. So we wanna give you the tools while you're at home to make it happen. We wanna give you this resource so that if you're stuck at home and you got a business and you're trying to find ways to generate some income, you can do this and make it happen. We literally launched this piece alone and we're already making money because people are reaching out from it. We've launched this piece this week and we're already having people reach out um, because of it to get help. And this piece right here will help you do it yourself. So you can download. So what's in this resource? Well, we're gonna have a PDF download you can print off and it'll walk you step by step and have you fill in the parts. It'll explain each section. You fill it in and then you go implement it and you figure out what system you're gonna use. Um, we even have an explainer video that walks you through the process. And we're gonna take this video as well and include it in the mix. So you have the why and then you have the how um, in the midst of the actual download. So, so where is this resource? Where do I get it? Well, let me copy and paste this right now into the comments. There you go. It is now in the comments. Take that link and click it put in your name and email and you'll get this pdf and you'll get this these emails i'm sorry not emails you will get emails that's right because you're on our sales funnel but you'll get these uh videos and you can actually see how we do a sales funnel with those emails you'll be able to see it firsthand ours, com ours coming to you in the same order and functionality that we write it in the pdf so we're not pulling one on you we're literally going to pull one on you by showing you what we're doing <laughs> and we're going to do it um, from the sales funnel. So that's what we're giving away today. We're super stoked and excited um, to do this because it's a lot of fun um, helping come up with resources that are helpful. And this is now our strongest one that we've come up with in our agency to help you right now, today, be able to create a sales funnel that works and it's not sleazy. And there's ways to do it through messaging that's powerful and effective and is useful information to people because if you believe in your business and your product, you need to get it out there, you need to get people engaged, and this is the easy way to do it. It's the easiest way that you have control over and you can make it happen today. So that's all I got for you. DIY sales funnel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching it later, um, check the link in the comments. I'll probably put it in the 
the actual post as well. But just click that link and go grab that sales funnel. I cannot wait to hear from you what you're doing with it. Please hit us up and show us how you set it up or how you're working on it. Maybe you just need help with one section, that's okay. Come to us, we can bootstrap something and say, hey, all we need is help is one second or just creating some emails. I'm having a hard time with this part of the messaging. We can talk through any of those things. Um, and you can go to quirkadvertising.com. You can click schedule a call. It'll actually schedule a Zoom call with me, your boy, James Thorne, and we'll jump on a Zoom call and figure out how to grow your business. So we're excited. Thank you so much for jumping on today. And as always, um, Stay safe, ration that toilet paper, and stay calm because we will get through this. We'll see you guys hopefully next week, Tuesday or Thursday at 3 p.m. And y'all have a wonderful day. And all, let's, let's close it out. How we close it out? We dance it out. So here we go.